our version of the movie that could be saved for another picture. Okay, a question from Switzerland was, um, you've made a lot of movies with monsters. Do you have a favorite one? Um, I have. Let me see. Which ones have I made? I can't remember. I've made, um, uh, I think from Dust Till Dawn, I really love. I love Planet Terror. I guess, I guess those are considered monsters. The, they're infected people, zombie type people. Uh, but um, from Dust Till Dawn, I like a lot. I'm, try, I'm trying to think back. Yeah, I think those two. Great. Um, from Austria at ORF.AT, in the original version of Predator, there's a certain lack of humor and irony. Is it still possible to make an action movie like that today, or will there be some humorous and ironic aspects in your version of Predator? There's humor in, in this movie. It comes from the characters and from the story and from the situation. We try to stay away from anything that seemed very forced or jokey, but uh, you do need some you know, levity in a movie. Uh, but for the most part, we play it pretty, pretty scary and intense the whole time. There isn't a lot of... Uh, Silly, silly joking around. From uh, mymovies.net from the UK, how do you feel about the treatment of predators in the AVP series, and will there ever be any crossover with aliens property in your work? No, there won't be any crossovers. I think they did that already, and um, the direction we're going now is just taking them, that culture, exploring them more. We didn't get to really learn that much about the predators, so I think there's enough there without having to introduce that other element. Um, but, you know, you know, it might be them crossed with something else, but not necessarily the aliens. And the next question is from Hey You Guys, UK. Hey, you guys. Uh, hey, you guys. This one's for you. Uh, when you started out, your movies were much lower budget and uh, were more effects-based. So now that in this age of CGI has changed the way in which you would make a uh, movie like Predators now, how, uh, you know, how do you think it would have been done differently now from 15 years ago? Um, I think I the try comparison to... is like a movie like Desperado. Yeah, no, I think uh, that's a good question. Um, I'm one who always likes to use the latest technology to try to advance, advance in the story and, and uh, storytelling. But when it comes to effects, we still try to do a lot practical. This is, uh, people have asked me, and I guess, because I did Sin City and things like that. If there was a lot of green screen in this movie, we didn't have any green screen. It was all location based. Um, we built the Predators. We thought that just looked the best, not making them CG. Um, if we use enhancements of any kind, it's just for the laser blast. It, actually, everything they did in the first movie. Um, if there is certain cr other creatures on the planet as well, if we couldn't do them completely practically, we did them mostly practical and just some CG enhancement. But it's always based off something that's real, that's photographed in real light, so that uh, you feel that it's really there within the space. So um, using, basically thinking of it, how we would have done it back then, and, and trying to keep to that with just a little bit of enhancement. Another question that just came in was, could you tell us something about the Arnold Schwarzenegger cameo? Is this real, or is this just a rumor that everyone's excited about? Um, yeah, that was just a rumor. We, we didn't have a, again, it wasn't realistic to think Arnold could do a cameo in the movie, so we didn't write one in, uh, expecting, hoping, praying that that would happen. So um, I think it was just something, um, oh, you know what, there was an early draft of a script where I had put in uh, a false ending, which is just how you can track and see who's let the script leak. And that had it, that had him show up, but uh, no, that's not part of the movie. Next question from Austria from Evolver Magazine: How will Predators slip into the mythology, and where will it fit in? Um, what was that one? Um, just a new question about the um, the the old mythology of Predators and how that's going to correspond with your version of Predators? Well, what we had always thought was, um, since I had written it so far back, the AVP movies hadn't happened yet. So I had actually even thought Predator 2 hadn't really happened either. I, I kind of went from Predator 1 and then wrote this one, thinking that you could watch Predator 1 and this Predators, so you'd have Predator and Predators. and. Um, 
that would be all you needed to watch and get a pretty good through line of a story. And if you didn't see the first one, it would still work. But um, you didn't have to see any of the other pictures. That was the idea. Um, question just in from Russia from Film ZRU, um, asking about Oleg. Um, yes. Question says, Oleg is a Russian guy. Why did you decide to go with him? They'd like to know in Russia. Um, why did we go with that actor or, or just for a Russian guy? We wanted to have uh, characters from uh, people with killers from all over the world as their selection, as what the predators selected to learn from. They, 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 can, they only evolve by learning uh, hunting tactics, killing tactics from, from other, other creatures, other, other beings and uh, other species. And we saw Oleg in a casting session and I thought he looked like Russian Charles Bronson. I said, um, well, we got to hire him. And he had a, so much heart, and uh, he's a UFC champion, but he's a really terrific actor and, and brought a lot to the movie. And uh, we're very happy with Oleg. From the fan carpet, and this is kind of continuing um, with, with your casting, can you talk a bit about casting and um, what was the most exciting part of someone joining your project? The most exciting part for joining the project is uh, how quickly we did everything. We, I started casting about two weeks to one week before we started shooting. So I'd call an actor, say Adrian Brody or Alisi, and say, would you like to be in the movie? And they would say, okay. And I'd say, great, can you be here next Sunday? This evening, next Sunday? Yes, but we need, we need time to train. And you, know, you like the script. Uh, that character didn't have any knowledge he was going to be dropped on this planet and no time to prep. So you'd actually you'd be writing character right off the bat as soon as you show up on the set. And uh, that was the fun, it was just a shake and bake. You know, we had to do it very quickly. And uh, that intensity and that sort of needing to be. Uh, have all the answers quickly, I think you translate it to film quite well. But um, it was because it was this mad rush into production and it fit the movie. So that's how, the, how we picked actors and that's how actors showed up, having never met us sometimes. We just saw them like on a little videotape and go, okay, we're picking that person, we're picking that person. And they're all going to go on this adventure and wild ride together. And it was, it was really terrific. The actors bonded over that experience and uh, we had a great, a great team. We have another question from uh, a cult symbol in England, and they're wondering if you've provided any new insight into the predator culture and their civilization in your new film. You do get some more information. That's the fun of these kind of things. Um, you bring in a group of people blind, so they know nothing. So they, they learn everything we already do know. But then they encounter things that we haven't seen, and so then it's reversed and we're getting to learn from them what you know we're just dying for some information so uh, we, we knew that was going to be part of it so somewhere around midway through the movie you start learning some more that you didn't know before and adding to the mythology and keeping it, it exciting right off the internet um, <laughs> um, I'm being asked to read out a question and say okay Mr. Tron we see you so, Mr. Tron out there in the Intertron world asks, uh, what is the role of the classic Predator? And does he, does he own any Super Preds? Does he own any Super Preds? I think they're piecing it together from a fake draft I had put out once before. Um, in my original, original draft, I always had a, a classic Predator. He is still in this movie. His role is pretty much the same as it was in my original draft. Um, I can't say exactly what he does, but the, I can say that there there is more than one tribe of predators. There is a clan war that good that's going on, and um, and there are new predators, and there's the classic predator, and our humans get mixed up in that. So go watch the movie and see who they yeah, are. Yeah, watch the movie.